Hey guys, I'm at a DC fast charging station at Diane's Automotive in Ithaca, New York. Uh, this happens to be pretty much the only one that's around us. Uh, unfortunately, charging stations are sparse here in, in uh, New York. And uh, we happen to have one, but it's in the town that I live, so it doesn't really help me get out of town. Uh, but anyways, I'm here charging the uh, RAV4 EV with the T-Rex battery pack. Uh, it's pretty cool that it's all working. I did have some issues getting it connected to start with. Uh, it turns out that my contactors that I have in the back of the car here that go out here had to be turned off. So I have a, a switch that I've shown in a previous video. You can see the light on right now. Uh, I had to turn that switch off and then it, the car would connect. And then oh, I also closed the contact or opened the contactor uh, here on this pack. And once the car connected, I closed them both again and everything seems to be working fine. Uh, one thing I noticed that, uh, so I'm getting around 82 amps in and uh, I'd have to check the numbers again, but I, I was getting 47 amps back here and the car was getting like 36. Um, so I thought that was a little weird and it makes me think that maybe this charge, this pack is going to end up charging first, so I'm going to have to watch that and figure that part out. Uh, but that was interesting. And so that could possibly mean uh, uh, that could be resistance. Maybe the pack, the second, the T-Rex pack, has a lower internal resistance than the pack inside this car, and that's why it's getting more of the juice. Uh, definitely possible. But even this car is pretty new. It's uh, 2014, so I don't know what year pack that is, but I potentially could be part of it. Uh, I also have uh, beefy wires. So th these are two uh, cables back here, so it's possible ju it just has a, a lower resistance. Um, but yeah, I'll have to keep looking at that. But yeah, I, I hardly ever get to fast charge, so this is kind of a treat. It's pretty cool, and I'll show you this display. It's, it's really cool seeing these numbers. 80, 80.6 amps, but I tested it at the plug and I think I was getting 82. I, I didn't write any of this down. I, As you might have figured out by now, I just make videos on the fly. I don't have a script or anything. <laughs> so I just, uh, just talk. But yeah, really cool seeing those numbers. Uh, really, really glad everything's working. So that, that should mean this trip to Indiana is definitely possible. Uh, I just have to keep an eye on amperages, but I did test the amperage just as the car standing still at the cable here to see if there was any transfer going on back and forth between the two packs, and it was 0.67 amps, and I've been driving around a little bit today, so it's pretty balanced. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of transfer, but it, it was really, I mean, less than an amp, so it's, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's about it, and thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.